everyone. It has been a while since I've done a Periscope. I apologize. Part of the reason why I haven't been doing this that much is that I just launched a podcast a few weeks ago. So search Bold Moves on iTunes or Stitcher or wherever you get your podcasts so you can hear me there. There's an episode every Monday with an interview with someone who has made bold moves and then an episode every Friday that's like three minutes long with a challenge. So if you haven't yet, please check that out. What I want to talk to about today with you is something that's been on my mind quite a bit and especially as someone who is self-employed, I realize that I set a lot of rules for myself and then I'm really hard on myself if I don't follow them or the same thing with setting goals and I end up then, you know, being kind of mad at myself and it's for something that doesn't affect anybody except for me. And I am on Periscope here. I'm gonna be saving this and reusing it for YouTube. So if I interact or if it's not perfect, it's because it's not rehearsed. And to answer the question I just got, yes, I do like turtles. Thank you for asking. <laughs> anyway, so I set these expectations for myself and then when I don't meet them, I'm very hard on myself. For example, I turned 35 on September 4th and my goal was to have my podcast launch on that Monday of my birthday since there's an episode every Monday. And hello, thank you very much. And I didn't. And I was really upset. I got really stressed up leading up to it. Hi Sienna, missed you too. Thank you for the hearts. Um, I got really stressed leading up to it when I started realizing how much work I would have to put into getting my podcast to launch that weekend. And a little bit after that I realized it doesn't affect anyone except for me if I don't get my podcast out. <laughs> Hello there, Vienna, Austria, I've never been. <laughs> and I don't know what abnormal people you've been coming across. I don't know if I'd call myself normal though. <laughs> anyway, so I realized that I was setting these expectations for myself and they weren't necessarily achievable. And then when I wouldn't hit them, I would put a lot of pressure on myself and get down on myself and feel bad. And part of being an entrepreneur is not having to worry about that. Same thing with this past Sunday, I went to a birthday party and afterward I was like, oh my gosh, I have to add the intro and outro for the podcast that comes out tomorrow. And I said that to my fiance Tommy and he said, whenever you say I have to, it boggles my mind because you're your own boss. And I had all day Monday, I could have done it, so I did. I went to bed after the birthday party, I didn't stay up late and edit, and everything was okay. I still got my podcast out on Monday, and even if I hadn't, I don't think anyone would have cried. It just would have really thrown off you know, my schedule a little bit of the podcast, not even of my life. As for how much water you should drink in a day, um, a lot of it depends on where you live, how hot it is, how active you are, but the general consensus is to take your weight, divide it in half, and drink that many ounces per day. Uh, but you can decrease that if you eat a lot of fruit or vegetables that have a lot of water in them already, or if you drink other things that don't have a lot of caffeine in it that can also count toward your water consumption. I hope that helps. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. My point of this Periscope broadcast is to tell you that you should really be your own best friend. Another example that goes along with this and setting rules is if you ask, oh that's very kind of you, <laughs> if you ask yourself, um, sorry that really mean comment threw me off for a second. So what was I gonna say oh I know what it is if you ask me for example what my definition of failure is I have one definition for everyone else in the whole entire universe that's awesome good for you and then another definition for myself so if you said well what does failure mean or if you told me that you thought that you failed I would say you haven't failed unless you've quit trying if you quit and give up, then that's a failure. But if you're continuing to try and strive forward, then you haven't failed. But if you ask me what failure is about myself, I will say if I haven't followed my own timeline and done it exactly how, when, in what way, and by the timeline I want, then I've failed. But really, it should be the same exact example. Yeah, exactly, a double standard. It should be something where, you know, to everyone, I have a best friend cat too, <laughs> but it should be something where for everyone, you feel that it's the same, 
you're di you didn't fail unless you've stopped trying. So I'm pleading to you, thank you for the hearts, I really appreciate it. I'm pleading to you to treat yourself like you are your own best friend. The things that you say to yourself with your positive self-talk or your negative self-talk, imagine saying them to your best friend, whether it's Jesus or a cat, like those of you have suggested, or a human best friend that you love. Think about how it would be if you said the things that you say to yourself to those people. Ooh, I had tacos last night and they're fantastic. And thank you so much for the kind words. No, I'm not a shrink. I just spend a lot of time doing personal development. And I am 35. I said that a little bit earlier actually in the Periscope. But anyway, so yeah, talk to yourself like you would your best friend, your sister, your cat, unless you uh, abuse your cat. <laughs> Uh, but just be nicer to yourself. Make an effort to do exactly that. Also, please do check out my podcast. Thank you. I appreciate that. Please do check out my podcast and my blog. That's where I link to my podcast too. And every week so far with the podcast, there's been a giveaway. And this week is a giveaway of the book, The Whole 30. Um, I do have Snapchat. If you go to my website, I think it's Mandalicious1. Um, but if you go to my website or my Instagram, or I think even my Twitter, which is Mandalicious, I think my profile picture on Twitter is my Snapchat ghost. So if you want to see it, you can check it out there. And yes, totally, you can absolutely train yourself to be happier by having more conscious thoughts. And you know, same thing goes if you do notice that you are not talking to yourself nicely, you can talk to yourself. Like, don't go be down on yourself for talking negatively to yourself. Don't exacerbate that cycle. Notice that you did that to yourself, not nicely. I do have a YouTube channel, yes, and I'm going to actually put this on there afterward. Um, it's M-A-N-D-I-E-L-V-S-H-A-Q. Or if you go to M-A-N-D-I-E dot TV, that takes you straight to my YouTube channel also. But what I was going to say is if you notice that you're doing a self-talk that's not positive instead of being like oh you're so stupid you can't even not talk to yourself negatively say okay hey I did a great job noticing that I didn't talk nicely to myself now I'm making progress because I noticed it and I can go just do it as oh I missed the last one triple it's exhausting if it's important, please retype your comment right before and I'll go back to that. I'm sorry. But yeah, if you notice that you are doing some negative self-talk instead of getting down on yourself for it, congratulate yourself for noticing it and then fight it back with a few positive thoughts that'll uh, outweigh the negatives. Thank you much, ev so much everyone for joining in. I hope that this isn't too crazy on YouTube. Like I said at the beginning, this is a Periscope broadcast, so it is live. I'm not reading from a script and I am interacting with people and there were random people in my neighborhood walking around and walking past. Thank you for all of the hearts. You can find all of my links to everything. No, you absolutely did not. Three, zero, one, whatever. Stop lying. Anyway, you can find my everything at www.mandiem.com or that website is in my profile on Twitter and obviously Periscope and Twitter have the same usernames. So thank you so much everyone, especially those of you who are positive and trying to make positive changes. I appreciate you and have a sparkly day. Bye.